so welcome everybody. Um, this will be recorded and we will play this quite a bit in the in the network. So here with first off our newest addition to the Wailopo executive team, former president of Firepoint, amazing coach, inspirational leader, teacher, mentor, Gabe Cordova. This is what you're officially your second day ever at Wailo. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like between Clubhouse and Zooms, we've been nonstop. So let's just keep rolling. So <laughs> I like the swag. That's cool. So yeah. Chris, yeah. So Gabe has now joined us as um, senior realtor in residence. So nice. we now officially have two senior realtors in residence, which is Barry Jenkins and Gabe Cordova. Um, I want everybody to um, send Barry really positive vibes and well wishes and thoughts and prayers. He's uh, battling COVID really hard right now. Um, they had a blessing, they had a newborn and, and believe it or not, he caught it in the hospital during that whole process. So Barry's at home, he would be on the panel, you know, with us normally. Um, he's, yeah, he's, he's uh, struggling with this, but so prayers every night for, for Barry guys. Um, so uh, we are here with a really, really good friend of mine, uh, Chris Heller. Um, and, you know, Chris and I don't go like way, way back, but I just feel like we've just developed such a strong, you know, uh, friendship in a fairly short period of time. And Chris is definitely a mentor to me, one of the smartest, you know, minds in the real estate industry. And um, not that long ago, he became the chief real estate officer. Did I get the title correct or a little bit? Yeah, it is. Chief real estate officer for Ojo Labs. And I know, I know the guys that you know, over there that started Ojo. It's an amazing, amazing company. And Chris and I got into brainstorming. And he knows that, you know, Chris, look, Chris is a wide up a client. Like Chris walks the walk. He's got an amazing team um, uh, down in, in uh, San Diego. So, you know, he understands that we love to not just generate leads at Wailapa, but we love to get leads in from amazing other sources, sources into your nurture and communication platform. So we were brainstorming and we thought, hey, you know, Ojo is doing some really cool stuff. They recently acquired Movoto. So they've got a platform um, and we just invited Chris here to talk about how you could use Ojo plus Wailopo to win, I think, right? Would that basically yeah. be the theme, Chris? Yeah. Welcome. I am. Um, I use them both to win on my team in San Diego, so everyone else yeah. should be also. Um, yeah. I think, first of all, thanks for having me, guys. And uh, always, always like to catch up. And I, I said it before we started that Howard, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge Dodger fan. So <laughs> and Dodger, that just makes I me. I going to say you're a huge Wailopo fan. You're a huge. Dodger I'm a huge Wailopo fan, but a huge Dodger fan. So. That just that in itself makes me happy. Um, yeah, yeah. We you mentioned we bought Movoto, and for for people that don't know, Movoto is uh, is a property search portal. It's the fifth most trafficked one in, in the U.S. right now. There's obviously Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, uh, Redfin, and then Movoto. Wow. And this, this so how many? We're gonna yeah, let's see. Ask a lot of questions. How many monthly unique visitors does Movoto get? Do you know roughly? Um, yeah, it's over over two million. Two Excuse million. me, over over twenty. Twenty million unique visitors a month. Yeah. Wow. Uh, excuse me. No, no. I'm sorry. It's it's over two, which translates into about. And I'm happy to share this. Um, we we get about a hundred thousand unique uh, inquiries a month, which um, turns into about thirty five thousand uh, uh, introductions that we make to real estate agents. Got it. So like 35,000 sort of warm handoffs a month that comes up from a hundred thousand or so inquiries, inquiries yeah. which goes up to literally, I know you guys are getting millions of uh, unique visitors, yeah. right? Yeah. To, okay, cool. Yeah. And the, um, and so what we do with that acquisition, we now have this, this influx of consumers and you know, those inquiries are everything from, Hey, I have a question to, I want to see this property. Um, and we talk to those consumers, the ones that, that, you know, we ask them how we can help them. If they truly want to be connected to an agent, then we connect them to one of the great agents in our referral network. Uh, it's done through a, a live introduction, a live handoff. Uh, we ping up to four or five agents at a time. The first one that responds wins the, the opportunity. And a minute later, their phone rings and we're on the phone with the consumer making an introduction saying, hey, here's 
here's Gabe. He's a great agent in the area you're looking. You'll be in great hands with him. Gabe, you know, Howard and his, his wife are looking for a property in your market and we'll let you guys take it from here. So, so to be clear, it's not, it's not a, a text message or email and then you're trying to then get them back on the phone. You guys, it's actually a warm handoff. You're hitting your network and, and we're connecting, talking. Yeah, yeah. And then what happens from there is our concierge team is, is connecting with you as the agent and with the consumer. I think of it, and um, I always use the analogy of a blind date, right? We, we set up this blind date, we introduce the, the agent and the consumer, and then the concierge team is there to, to make sure that the, you know, that the relationship is being created and that there'll be a second date and, uh, and on, on through the process of helping that person buy or sell their home. So cool, so tell us about like, so um, do you, you guys are actually using it and how are you using it with Ylopa? Yeah, so um, as agents, we get leads a lot of different ways, right? So if I put on my agent hat or my team hat, we get agents a lot of different ways. This referral network is just a, another source of consumers that we're able to talk to. Uh, and then all those consumers go into, go into our CRM and our database where we're using YLOPO the way we do with, with other lead sources, you know, to, to market and, and retarget those consumers. Because the, the, whether it's a, a lead coming from Ojo, you know, via Movoto or one of our other sources, or, or someone that called us on Zillow or wherever they came from, some of them are what I call now business, right? They're, they're, they're ready oh, to go. Call hand, hand raisers. Yeah. yeah. Um, and some of them are future business. And all of them are, are certainly opportunities for referral in, in, in future business. So we want to make sure that we are, you know, nurturing and incubating those as we would any, any consumer. So I would think that, you know, if you look at the agents around the country who are, you know, uh, working on Ojo leads or in the Ojo system. But if you had Wailopo plus Ojo, you'd have an advantage over the folks, the other folks that had Ojo that didn't have Wailopo, right? Because you're saying you're getting some down funnel, hand raising leads, you're getting others who are, aren't so ready, but now we get them into the nurture system, the dynamic remarketing, the dynamic listing alerts, Raya conversations, so the ROI, if you have both, is going to be better than if you just have Ojo, I assume. Absolutely. And, and you know, there's a certain percentage of the consumers that are also sellers. And, you know, again, being able to leverage Ylopo with the sellers, you know, whether it's- With the home bot stuff. Home bots, marketing their properties, you know, sharing with them what we're doing as an agent to, you know, to expose their property. All those things are, are, are super, um, you know, um, complimentary. So, um, so how do you, what's, what's the economic model? So we've got, you know, some agents watching now, we're going to, you know, broadcast this far and wide, lots of others are going to see it. So how do you know, how does, how, what's the economic arrangement with, uh, yeah. with Ojo? And, and you mentioned, you know, you mentioned Barry before, um, and I, uh, you know, I hope he's, hope he's getting better and feeling better, but you know, Barry, his team and then his wife, Susan, but their brokers, they have quite a few agents in, in Ojo and they're, they're killing it, um, doing a great job. Uh, so the economic model is it's a, it's a success fee or a referral fee on the closing. It's at 35%, whether it's a buyer or a seller. There's, I, I get asked all the time, you know, is there a membership fee or does it cost to join? And the answer to both of those is no. Um, so uh, just a, a straight, straight referral fee. What's the Chris, would you say that referral fee again? I it cut out a little bit on my answer. I'm not sure if it did for others. Yeah, I said it's. Um, <laughs> it's it's thirty five percent. That's Zillow industry standard, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's um, it, yeah. It's it's uh, my team is in a bunch of different referral networks, and it's they're all that much or more. So Lori asked. She wants to know if there's a connection with realtor.com. Um, so I'll read the question. Um, okay. uh, don't know, hundred percent understand it, but like Op City, which bought out the area where I am from, Movoto, is there a connection with the realtor.com type of entity because Op City did and the lead quality and price point plummeted? So, uh, so no, there's no connection with the realtor.com. There's, um, so I, I'm not sure I'm clear on the question, but. but yeah. Well, let's just talk about then. Let's just talk about, you know, how you guys might differ from, you know, realtor.com bought up city. So realtor.com forward slash op city. Right. Yes. And, you know, 
behind the scenes, we know that the you know executive team and founders from another company, Yodel, went to Op City and some went to Ojo. And it seems like to me, you know, it seems like they're running a little bit of a competitive parallel path here. So let's kind of let's get some tough questions. So let's get yeah. into a tough answer. Well, and, and I'll just add add to the drama. Um, <laughs> prior, prior to uh, us acquiring Mavoto, uh, Mavoto was selling the majority of their leads to Reloader.com and to Op City. Uh, so when we acquired Mavoto, we uh, in uh, on December 3rd, which was what, so only six weeks ago, we took back 100% of the leads and, and now are, are you know, servicing those ourselves and with our own network of, of the Ojo Select network of agents. And um, so these are, you know, the bulk of the introductions that we make to consumers are coming from Mavoto. I'd say probably, I don't know the exact numbers, but my guess is probably 90%. Uh, the other 10% are you know, Ojo Organic, um, we have some other partnerships, you know, we have a partnership with Bankrate, um, we do some stuff with Lending Tree, and so there's there's other sources of leads that come in, but the the bulk of them come from the Mavoto website. So if an agent is um, in whatever market you're in right now, if you went to Mavoto.com and put in your town, if listings came up, that means there's going to be leads there, because if there's listings, there's, there's consumers inquiring about them. Good. So, and obviously agents are like realtor.com, all that. And I think OK Hogan just brought this up in, in a question. So they've already got a, a contact, a lead in their database. You guys connect the warm handoff. How is that handled? So if it's, so first of all, the, if the agent, the agents can accept or, or release the lead, right? They don't have to accept it. Um, if it's someone they're already working in, then they wouldn't accept it from us. Or if they did accept it, they would immediately release it and say, hey, I'm already working with these people. Um, the you know, we know consumers are looking on lots of they different check lots of sites. Yeah. yeah. So there's there's the the chance that could happen. Um, it, it's it's a little surprising how how infrequently it does happen. You know, you would think it would happen more than it really does. But yeah, it's probably more the tail wagging the dog here. But let's explore that for a second. So so um, our friend OK has this consumer in his database, but now they've come through this right. They've checked this other site. They've come through Movoto. It's a, uh, would you call it a warm transfer or a hot transfer? Well, uh, it's, no, we call it a warm transfer. It's, it's okay. So there's a warm a transfer. Live, live transfer. Yeah. So, so let's, let's say, look, you, you walk the walk, right? Let's say you had someone in your database, right? And all of a sudden now you've got this warm transfer from Movoto slash Ojo. What would you do? Would you not accept it and then go back to your database and call this person right away? Or would you accept it because there's some, validation and urgency and just say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna give up the 35%, but I'm gonna take it this way. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, great question. Um, we all have lots of people on our database that we don't keep in touch with the way we should. And yeah. we have people in our databases that buy and sell homes. And unfortunately we find out about it after the fact. So just because they're in our database doesn't mean that even if I, even if I reach out to them, they're gonna say, oh yeah, we're glad you called right there. But there's a reason they were on Movoto or somewhere else trying to get information. There's a reason why they told our rep, yes, please introduce me to an agent. They didn't say introduce me to Chris, they said introduce me to an agent. So what I would do as an agent, unless it's someone that I had recently talked with or were actively showing properties, I would, I would take the introduction and pay the referral fee. Because here's what's gonna happen. If, 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 if you choose the other route, we're going to release that lead. We're going to introduce them to someone else. And when we introduce them to someone else, you know, your chances of, of you know, just went down even more. Yeah, I, I think that that's key right there. And, and you know, doing this for, for decades and having leads come from referral sources like this. I mean, I know, Chris, you've done radio, television, all that. There are so many times when that happened and early on agents didn't want it. And you've got them on the phone. Even if they're in your database, you're looking way too short-sighted. And the, the, the key to what you just said is you guys have got them warmed up on the phone. You're going to hand them off. If yeah. you take that and really look long-term, you're, you're going to win every single time. Abe, are you, are you guys currently getting um, Ojo slash Movoto leads? We're right. not. We're not. When, when you, so when you ping me in on this, I was actually- uh, so hold on. Chris, would you, would you be willing on this day <laughs> to agree to send leads to the Gabe Cordova team? What's the name of your team, Gabe? 
It's, it's up there. It's a core group in, in Boise. Yeah. Core group in Boise, Idaho. Would you be willing to do that? You know, I, I'll have, we'll have to vet Gabe and his team and make sure. <laughs> and, um, but assuming they qualify, then yeah, I think we would consider and that. And do you, my love was the first Do you, background. Gabe Cordova, by the way, I'm a minister of the Universal Life Church. And do you, Gabe Cordova, on this <laughs> really accept uh, um, yeah. to, to try out and test out the Ojo Movoto lead source? Yeah, we, we'd, we'd love to. And I mean, and what I was going to say is we've been doing this through similar all the time. And it's, it's, you win. I mean, they're on so many sites and it's, it's almost like thinking, well, if I have leads in my database, then why local bubbles them up? Cause Raya's going and doing her job. Like, well, I already had it. So I shouldn't pay as much. It's too short sighted. When somebody or something warms a, a, a prospect, a person up for you, you, you take it and run and, and, and go all day long. I mean, it's just, it's going to pay out in spades. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so awesome. So I have made a, a marriage here. <laughs> um, and then Gabe, you know, awesome we'll be able to walk the walk and tell us how things go and we'd love to then bring chris bring you back right and wow. after we've had a few more tests yeah, that would, actually that would be really cool like to, yeah. to start from scratch on board you go through the process we can share about it see how it's going i can i can give everyone the truth about how gabe's team performed <laughs> there you go so, now, yeah, it'll okay. be awesome like case i just threw the experience because i i, I that literally within minutes, either before or after Howard's in his message, you know, I saw people that I know in, in social groups asking, like, who, who are these guys? What's going on? How does the process work? And I think it's, it's great to hear anybody who's heard me speak on stage. It's, this is real life, right? This is what we're doing as ranchers. This is the process and what I'd recommend on how to do it smooth. Awesome. So we have a couple of questions, uh, Chris. And guys, keep the questions coming. Um, chat us up. Uh, hit the Q&A. Um, you know, you guys are getting a first look at this. And so we'd like to get as many of you in the audience as possible on this connection with Wailopo Nurturing Communication and an Ojo lead source. So uh, Jillian wants to know, can new agents on my team do Ojo or is it only for experienced agents? And then we had another person kind of same kind of question, which is what are the qualifications to get these leads? Yeah, um, really good question. So we prefer agents who have been in the business for at least three years and have, have closed at least 25 transactions in the previous 12 months. So that wipes out a pretty large portion of the population. The reason we prefer that is because we're making a promise to the consumer that we're going to introduce them to a top agent who's experienced, who's going to give them the best chance to succeed when it comes to buying or selling their home. Okay, repeat the qualification one more time for our yeah. audience. They missed our, our preference is, and, I, and, I'm, and I'll tell you why I'm using the word preference, but our preference is three years and 25 transactions. We know in some markets, you know, we, have, we get leads in towns I've never heard of, and, or maybe none of us have, you know, little rural towns, and there may not be an agent that does 25 transactions there. So we'll, we'll adjust and relax those, those uh those standards based on lead flow, based on agent coverage and those type of things. Well, let, let's, let's drill into that a little bit. I'm making you a little, this, I'm going to make you a little uncomfortable here and it's okay to push back. I'm just trying, I'm fighting for my clients, which is. By, by the way, yeah. the chances of you making me feel uncomfortable are pretty small. <laughs> having, having had 170,000 agents at once, you know, pester you with things or come after you with things is. Uh, That's true. Yeah. You've been, you've been through the ringer with, uh, in your past life. So. So, because you know that they're on Wailopo, you know that they're on a, and it's a team, right? We're mostly working with teams. Um, could we maybe use sort of the team for that, for those benchmarks, right? Absolutely. And, and that's, that's what we do. And awesome. now what we, what we recommend to the teams, so let's, let's say, you know, on Jillian's team or Gabe on your team, let's say you have, you know, seven buyer's agents you may only want to pick the best ones to get these leads because we're going to be evaluating you on, on three things primarily. One is effectiveness. You know, are you converting? Another is responsiveness, responsiveness to the offers that we make, the introduction offers, responsive to our concierge team, responsiveness to updating us on the status, uh, responsiveness to the consumer. Uh, and then the third thing is customer satisfaction. So we're going to judge you on those things. So you want to be mindful of which team members you have working those leads because it's got to be a reflection of the, on the team. Yeah, that, that's great. I was thinking the same thing. So guys, um, we've got a special Wailopo deal here where we can use the team to qualify because Ojo really respects 
teams that are on one level because Chris knows that he walks the walk. But make sure you're very careful about who on your team, like don't put a brand new agent who might muff it and the consumer moves on because you're going to get scored on that. And if you put a great buyer's agent um, or sellers, like I would assume actually a lot, big percentage now are sellers, right? Yeah, I think it's it's early on, but I think we're going to end up seeing that probably upwards of 20%, you know, one in nice. five. Sellers. Yeah, so someone who can handle both, right? And um, uh, yeah, and if they do a great job, then, you know, you, you guys are going to see that, right? Oh, Joe, and then you're going to, you're going to reward them with more. Yeah, absolutely. And, and look at the reason we like, you know, actually love Y Loco teams and is, is because we know that any team that's investing in this platform and investing in themselves to, to do the things that Y Loco does uh, means that they, that they're doing something right. Right. If they weren't doing something right, they wouldn't be using Y Loco. So we care you know, deeply about the consumer experience and we, we know the agents that are doing the most and the most experienced know how to provide the best experience. Yeah, look, guys, we're here today because you, you know I'm always preaching about get in as many lead sources as possible, right? And when the pandemic's over, then think about the stuff you can do on the streets, right? right. Offline to get in as many leads into this nurture system. But you have the best nurture system on the planet. I'm biased, but you do have the best nurture technology on the planet. And that's why we're here today. Like, yeah, we're generating leads for you. That's one stream. Bring Ojo in, bring this stream in, bring this stream in. And these are relationships. They're not leads. They're relationships that you will have forever because the tech now will keep them in your fishbowl forever. Um, hey, I, I want to I chime in on something just because I just actually got a direct message and I'm not going to call this person out or anything, but I said, are you really going to do something where you're paying 35%? And I just want to address that. It's, it's absolutely all day long because uh, on our team and in a lot of teams, You've got you've got your agents and you're doing your you know, your white local lead generation all that they're on a, I'll just make up some numbers 50 50 split right company generated this is still going to be a company generated Chris is going to vet you know us as team lead we're going to hand those off even if you take when you take that 35 off the top you're letting your anyone on your team go sell at a higher split on their sphere like 80 percent or something you're still better off on these and you're providing it you're not you're not paying for it up front you're not nurturing it and all that so really don't let that number uh, get in your way of an opportunity because again, they're feeding in another source, you're diversifying and not relying on any one. And if you really run the numbers, uh, you're probably better off here because you're nurturing it for a shorter amount of time uh, and it's still coming through you and your team and you're providing to them. Well, and, and the other thing too, Gabe, along those lines is, you know, and I'm sure most of the people watching this is, uh, of, on, of our teams, every transaction we do, should lead to another three transactions over the next five years with repeat right. referral business. So the more transactions we do, regardless of the source. And then the last thing I'll say on that point is, we have some pretty substantial teams um, uh, uh, that are not only part of OSM, but part of other uh, referral networks. And it's a way for them to augment or add to their business, right? Now, there are some teams that are in the country that are simply focusing 100% on these type of referral networks. And they're saying, look at, I was spending more than this on, on marketing and generating leads. I'm just going to, you know, pay it in referral fees instead of buying them up front. Right, yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I love it. And so what I, I wanted to clarify one thing too that you said earlier. So when you guys have the, the warm handoff and it's transferred to, and we've got some questions, we'll get right to you. And you transfer it off. Uh, is your team still checking in with them to make sure they're being taken care of and all that? Yeah, yeah. so we, we, we have a designated concierge team that is after the introduction is made, is is communicating with you as the agent and with the consumer making sure that everything is going well if you need anything we have i'll, I'll give you a quick example one we just had where <clears throat> the agent um we got a hold of the consumer and and said hey how we you know we, we know we introduced you to gabe how's it been going he said oh it's it's fine you know, we had a great conversation with gabe he followed up sent some stuff we just been so busy we were on a, a trip for a week and we plan on calling him this weekend we called, we called the agent and said, hey, we want to let you know, we talked with the, the buyers and they said, everything's going great. And the agent said, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you told me. I hadn't heard from them in two weeks. I was just about to release them. And, and so, so yeah, the concierge plays a really good role in keeping everyone you know, on, it's, on track. It's crazy because if you really think about it, not only are you providing a lead, I mean, agents and all these teams are already paying for leads. So there's a cost of just getting leads anyway. Uh, but, and then you're nurturing them, handing them off. And then you're still almost, or not almost, you're still this concierge team 
that staying in touch and it's these friendly nudges because it's it's truly a partnership, just not a, hey, thank you for the $50 or $100, here's a lead nurture for the next 18 months. Yeah, no, because we, you know, we all have, uh, our goals are aligned, right? To help the consumers. So a lot of times the consumer will say something to our concierge team that they haven't told the agent and we'll let the agent know. It might be that, hey, they're, they're thinking about another area now, or, you know, they went to an open house this weekend and just so you know, they, seems like they liked it. So you may want to get a hold of them real quickly. So it's, got, it definitely helps. You've got the warm handoff, the concierge team that you guys are providing. You've got Wailobo Remarketing, Raya, all of that. I mean, it's like this entire force going to this conversion. All right, I want to get to a question because we're piling up here. Uh, so you vet, uh, obviously, the agents and the teams. Uh, what sort of vetting on the lead is happening before the handoff? Yeah, good question. So the we asked some some basic questions, right? Are, are they committed working with or committed to another agent? Um, is there, uh, I forget the exact question, but in terms of their credit, is it you know good, fair, or poor? Um, we ask them their time frame, and so we just ask those basic questions. We make sure that they you know hey we call them, they answered the phone, they answered those questions. We say, would you like to be connected to an agent? Yes, we would. Okay, would you like us to do it right now while you're on the phone? Yes, we would. So, yeah. I can't tell you that they're all great leads that are going to buy right now, but but they're better than most of the leads we get. And I and you know we have a, a you know a Facebook group like what what Lopo does. And when I see the remarks and the agents in there, um, you know, there's been a lot of comments about the positive comments about the quality of the leads. There's always going to be the ones that get through that shouldn't have, but you know, you re, if you can't service them, you release them and and wait for the next. One. It costs you nothing at that point. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, there's a relationship with Ojo and Coldwell Banker as a Wailopo customer and Coldwell. Uh, is, is there an integration there that already works? No, we don't have we don't have any integrations at this point. We we make the introductions, then it's incumbent upon the agents to um, you know to enter them into their their either their Wailopo marketing platform or their CRM. Awesome. So there's no system change that they need to make. It's their warm handoff, just as if somebody called in. Correct. Awesome. Uh, and is this for teams only, uh, Lori asks? No, no, it's uh, teams or individual agents. Uh, we, we, aren't, um, we aren't biased really one way or the other. Again, we, what we really care about is what happens once we make the introduction. Awesome. I'm gonna throw a question in just because it hit me. So there's a handoff, you said a lot, you know, or a fair amount, you're seeing a lot more sellers we anticipated. There's two sides of the transaction, just making sure everybody's on the same page. 35% uh, on total transactions for that handoff. Correct. Yeah, if they're a buyer, if they're a buyer and seller in the same marketplace, then you're able to handle both transactions, and there'd be a referral fee on each transaction. Which is which is one. That's awesome. Yeah. Chris, um, I have a question for you. So, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, you guys made a big investment in uh, purchasing Movoto. So, two part question: um, Talk about the synergy between <clears throat> what Ojo has and then the Movoto property, and why why it made sense to bring it together and then what your plans are um, for Ojo and for Movoto and how do you see the traffic potentially growing? Is it gonna grow slowly over time? Is it gonna grow exponentially? Um, because I'm thinking like people that get in now kind of still get in kind of early. So, you know, sort of tell us about the, the, yeah. the calculus that went in and in the future. Yeah, it is kind of early and, and, um, and, and the agents that have already gotten in the ones getting in now are benefit from that because you know, we, in fact, we've actually, um, we have actually buried some agents with too many um, introductions. Too many amazing seller leads? <laughs> Sign me up. Um, so, I mean, so we've actually had agents say, I, I, you got, I can't take it anymore. Like um, certain parts of the country where we just had way more traffic than we did agents um, early on. But as far as, um, Movoto, so prior to, prior to the, the acquisition of Movoto, at Ojo, we developed some, some um, cool technology where, where consumers can interact with Ojo, ask questions, um, you know, any real estate questions, uh, see, look at properties, view properties. As they, as they do so, Ojo learns about them, learns about their preferences, learns about the characteristics they like, and then, you know, shares properties that, that have those attributes or characteristics and, you know, sort of, sort of um, be a resource to them, a, a, um, an AI advisor. All the time knowing that, hey, as soon as they need a service professional, whether it's a 
a, a mortgage lender or a real estate agent, then we would make that introduction. And we've been doing that for a few years. Live, like you guys handle that live at some point, right? You guys, right there, you guys have a massive call center, right? Yeah. yeah. What we do when someone when someone raises their hand or or says yes, I want to be connected to an agent, we immediately call them because we want to make sure that 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 really is what's best for them and best for the agent, right? We don't. Uh, if we just connected every person that said, hey, I want to see this property, I want to see this, you know, there's a reason why 100,000 leads turn into 35,000 referrals, because there's two thirds of them that really aren't ready or, or their question could be answered easily and they don't want, and they may be already working with an agent and their agent's on vacation, so they're calling someone else and those type of things. So, um, so we already had that process. The, the acquisition of Mavoto just gave us access to a lot more consumers at the top which then really said, okay, we always had the idea that we'd have our own network of agents that we'd connect the consumers with. When with that acquisition, it became absolutely necessary for us to do that because we want to make sure again that we have good agents because we know good agents provide a great experience and know how to take someone from a conversation to eventually helping them buy or sell their home. Awesome. Now, word word on the street is that this this amazing call center with amazing people is in the Caribbean somewhere like on a beautiful island. And I know that like, you know, for me to let this go through to Wailopo, <laughs> I'm going to have to personally visit <clears throat> this amazing, beautiful island in the Caribbean and inspect the call center. Then, you know, then we'll, 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 well let and you. I think I better go with you. We're, we're going to yep, start doing some testing this as well. I want to know yep. who's handing them off. Yep. <laughs> yeah, um, I've never so, flown so on a private yeah. plane. I've never flown on a private plane, but I do appreciate that <laughs> offer and the pickup <laughs> in the private plane to the Caribbean because, you know, I, I, that's, that's how Ojo rolls. Um, I, I have been to that beautiful island. It's on the island of St. Lucia. And, ah, St. Lucia. I've never been there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it, it, what's, what's cool about it? Oh, there's a lot of things cool about it. One of the things cool about it, it has the, the two highest points in the Caribbean, these two mountains called the Pitons, oh, and, wow. uh, which, is like, which is like an ancient, you know, was an ancient volcano. And you can hike up to them. And it's a, it's a hike. It's like, you, Howard, you would love it. It would be. I did um, it in, uh, I did it in Morea a few years ago in French Polynesia. They had this, in Morea has this one. Yeah, I remember you did that at Christmas time a few years ago. Yeah, I had a, um, I had a realization on that hike, actually. Really deep, profound realization on that. You weren't, you weren't in as good a shape as you thought you were. <laughs> Dude, you know me like a book. It's so bad. I can't get away with a joke anymore. Oh my god! Dude, like a brother from another mother. Oh my god. Okay, we got a couple of questions here. So um, uh, Jason wants to know what about Canada? Hey, um, glad Jason brought that up. So we are uh, we are actually launching in Toronto uh, on at the end of this month. Wow. Love uh, Toronto. Love Toronto. We, uh, and then we'll be, um, after Toronto, uh, quick follow is um, Southwestern Ontario. <clears throat> and then I forget the order after that, but we'll be in Edmonton, Calgary, um, Vancouver. We'll be all of them before the mid-year. Awesome. Uh, and then Jillian's asking, is our brokerage uh, sign us up or is there a link where they can do it themselves? So where do people go to learn how to do this as, as they're hearing about it? I'll tell you what, I'll post the link in the chat right now. Um, and so what happens is there's a, the landing page that I just posted the link to, there's a information there about everything we've talked about. And then there's a, an application button. It's a brief uh, application. You fill out the application. When we get that, that triggers a referral agreement sent via DocuSign to you and your broker. When those are both signed and executed, they come back to us. And then we send you a text with a link in there to, that takes you to a, an onboarding process. Uh, you choose your zip codes that you cover and those type of things. And once that's all done, you're live and, and, and um, ready for introductions. Well, easy. Awesome. So um, Chris, while we have you on, um, so let's shift gears a little bit, I think. And obviously we get more questions. Guys, if you have questions about Ojo and how it'll work with Wailopa, we know Gabe's gonna test. We'll get, I'd love to get some more testers in here. Look, you guys all know I rail against the big portals, right? Like that's my job, right? You know, you know, don't don't pay commission splits and and don't you know feed their brand, feed your own brand, and get you know 10x to 20x the number of leads. You guys know that. But having said that, um, you know, Ojo slash Mavoto is a friendly, right? 
they they love Wailopo, they appreciate Wailopo, and we are looking for other lead sources, and they're not asking for dollars up front. Like we, you know, we we don't ever Wailopo is never going to go commission splits or referral fees, whatever. That's not our thing. But um, look, you can run both, and I don't think like anyone's going to get overwhelmed with the number of leads from your source, right? It's going to be very opportunistic. Um, so I just see it really as a really as a hand in glove. So. But, but, but Chris, while, while we have you here, just wanted to get kind of your, like we're looking at 2021, I'm seeing a you know, nationwide, a tale of two cities. Um, I hate to say it, but I call it, you know, um, all cash offers and bread lines. And it's hard for me to get my head around what's happening right now. You know, all cash offers, you don't have all cash offer, you're not gonna get it. And we have literally, we have food lines, right? Yeah. You know, so, so, you know, when you're, when you're thinking deeply about um, 21 and beyond the real estate industry, you know, we have like no inventory in so many places. It's a massive seller market because we have no inventory. We have super low interest rates. Love to hear your sort of macroeconomic take on where we are now and where we're going. Sure. Um, so, I, you know, I, I see the same thing that, that you see, Howard, and it is uh, it is troubling on a lot of fronts, right? Overall, the real estate market and the real estate industry has enjoyed a long, phenomenal run. I mean, you know, for the most part, like 12 since, years, 12 years. Yeah. yeah. So we have, we are, you know, which is longer than most, most runs. By far, it's actually long. It's, it's the longest real estate bull market. Yeah. yeah. And, and. And those can't go on forever. They don't go on forever. No, whether it's uh, all markets have cycles. What we know right now with the extreme shortage of inventory in many markets, like San Diego's, it's like crazy low inventory. Um, I, I bought a place this summer in Whitefish, Montana, and that market is crazy. I just, I made the offer on another property there this weekend and got beat out and I made a pretty darn good offer. Um, and, um, and so we know that's the case in most markets, but at some point, with so many people that have had financial hardships, we're, we're going to feel that. And there's, there's, you know, we're going to, you know, to use an old phrase, we're going to pay the piper at some point. Right. And because some of those are first time buyers, some of those are move up buyers. Now there's things that are counteracting that. And, and one of the things that's counteracting that is just demographics, right? We have the largest population, you know, moving full force into the, you know, the home buying age. Uh, and, and that's, that's going to counteract that. So I don't think anyone knows truly what's going to happen. I think for 2021 agents should be man, making hay while the sun shines, you know, build as many new relationships as you can deepen those relationships that you have in your database. My, my agents have two, like major, not my agents, all agents have two frustrating points, right? Which is not enough inventory, right? And because the interest rates are so damn low, the lenders can't, I was talking to, you know, Brittany Howard, who's down in uh, Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana. And she's like, I, I can't get lenders to call us back. Yeah. Like, they're so overwhelmed. We can't even get them. That's amazing to me. Right. So if you're an amazing lender and you're in Baton Rouge, please call Brittany Howard. Right. She needs someone who can perform. I mean, get like 15 files a week, literally. Right. But that's the, no, so these these pain points. So, you know, what happens when interest rates rise? Are they going to rise? Um, and also, I think the biggest question is is like, is you know, I personally think um, that when the pandemic is over and we go back to life as we knew it, there's a whole bunch of folks who are like, we're not selling our house now. We're hunkered down. We're not making a move. The process of selling our house and moving and it's going to put us in contact with a lot of people life's crazy right now but i feel like invent more inventory is going to come on the market at that point it, but it's just a guess honestly yeah i think there will like, it's 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 just a matter of time before inventory starts to start to catch up it doesn't take that much of a slowdown like if, if you mentioned interest rates if interest rates let's say in the second half of the year tick up um and other things happen, you know, whatever they might be. And the market slows down just a little bit. It doesn't take long for inventory to start to, start to build, which would probably be a healthy thing in most markets, right? Um, what we don't want is for the market to keep going like this and then to go like that. You know, we want it to, we want it to slow down. We know over time the markets have a, 
um, you know, in, in, in our country, they've always had a, 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 a positive trajectory. There's sometimes where it goes up much higher and faster than others, and sometimes where it actually goes down. But over time, it's going to continue that trajectory. Um, the I, you love, know, I love market neutral. Like I don't love sellers markets. You know, extreme buyers markets mean this mean we have sort of an unhealthy thing happening. Yeah. I love neutral markets, but I feel like we're just a country of extremes. Like I can't remember. <laughs> Yeah, new, neutral markets usually last for like a day, and it's a day yeah. like right between the you know where they're starting to do this right. or trying to do that. Right. Um, yeah. No, it there's I don't think there is a, a neutral market. Um, you know, there are there, now there are some parts of the country where things don't um, don't fluctuate as much as other parts of the country, but um, uh, like you know one of the areas you're in right now, how are the things fluctuate a lot in, in that market? Um, yeah, I noticed like in this market, um, literally probably two years ago, 24 months ago, um, I was like, wow, like, you know, you could really get an incredible home here for, I don't know, a quarter of what this thing would cost you in LA, let's say, right? Yeah. Uh, and way more expensive than the rest of the country. But for other parts of California, like super value for a luxury area. But now forget about it. Like it's, it's like, you know it's hard right so yeah it's going to be really interesting um we do have a let's go back for one second i love the macroeconomic discussion we can go back for one second um ruby says there's nowhere in the app to say we are with wilopo now obviously there wouldn't be but how would ruby or someone else indicate to the powers that be at ojo that they are actually a wilopo client here's here's what i'm gonna and and I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna regret this, but here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, yeah. Hey, if Tom Ferry can do it, you can do it. <laughs> but, all right, I just put my email in the chat. Um, I think I did it right, so it shows up for everyone. Yep. And um, gotcha. do me a favor, any any Wailopo clients who are, who are applying, just send me an email once you've applied and then I'll flag our team. Yeah, just reach out to me. I'll give you Chris's cell phone number. You can call me <laughs> Sunday, not a problem. Awesome. Hey, Chris, I want to make sure, uh, again, I, we covered this, but I want to make sure because somebody asked uh, when they come in, how are they getting into uh, their stars for retargeting or the CRM? Again, it is, they're manually doing that through their systems. It's a phone call handoff. So it'd be like any other inbound phone call lead they get, they'd have to import it or in, input it that way. Yeah. Now, now part of our onboarding process is um, when, when an agent goes through the onboarding process, they get, they get set up on, on a dashboard and it's a, it's a web link. A web app. So when when we also introduce someone to you, the, the 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 consumer's information will be put into your dashboard. So you'll be able to see it there, and you can copy and paste it, and you know yeah. put it in your CRM or your, your super easy. And Tom, you just joined us. Uh, it's really for any agents. Uh, they are going to do a vetting process. They have a preference. Uh, so just go to the link that that Chris mentioned, and and all the information is there, and and you can get signed. Jillian just signed up. Oh, yeah, awesome. Awesome. let's get some more signups. That's cool. I like, I like agents of action. Yes. <laughs> you know, Love yeah. It. Look, look, guys. This, this life is about personal relationships, right? And if Chris Heller, my dear friend, wasn't at Ojo, we would not be doing this. I'm just telling you, we would not be doing this, right? But I trust Chris, and that trust is everything. And so I know that that um, these guys are going to treat the Wailopo family right because Chris is part of our Wailopo family, right? I mean, he's running a, a team; they're on Wailopo, and so this is going to be a really cool experiment. Yeah. yeah I, I, to that point, I got um, we hired a new uh, product leader in the company, and he he scheduled a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me when we spoke earlier today, and he asked me a question, which was a really good question. But um, he said, "Hey, what makes us different from the other companies that do this?" And I said. There's a bunch of little things, but I think the primary thing that makes us different is we understand agents. I, I'm an agent and, and, and I lead this part of the business and we are very agent centric. And, and we, we know what's important to agents. We know when they ask a question, why they're asking that question. We, we understand that we're not a bunch of, now we have an incredible technology team, but we're not a bunch of technology people that are trying to you know um, pry their way into this industry or, or do something and, and say that we, our, one of our goals is to have the most beloved network of agents amongst the referral networks out there. And so, okay, but look, I'm going to, I'm going to bust your chops here. Okay. Zillow's going to say the same thing. We've got an advisory board of agents and we love agents. So I'm going to call BS on it. Like, tell me how are you really, how are you really going to be different? Yeah. 
So the um, I mentioned we have the uh, the Facebook group, which is is really active. And agents are really engaged, and we communicate with the agents a lot through that. Almost anyone in our company that touches the the Ojo Select network, product people, marketing people, engineers are in that Facebook group. And they're not, they're not actively engaged, but they're watching and learning and listening. And the decisions we make or make, hey, these agents are struggling with this part, or this is a pain point for them, or there's friction here. And I see things happening on a daily basis our teams are doing to remove that, to make it a better, better experience for the agents. Because we know like, the happier the agents are, the better they're gonna take care of our consumers. It's, it's, it's a win-win. Awesome. Well, we just got a whole thing I already want to talk about it. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna become Switzerland on this one a little bit because you're right. I think anyone, Zillow or anybody, is gonna say the same thing. But where, where I'm gonna be in the middle here is, you know, when, when I was new to Ylopo years ago, calling Ylopo for lead gen and all that, and being able to talk to somebody like Barry or you or Lydia, yeah, and you got Chris up here talking about this company that's completely different than I think a majority of these portal lead companies. That are saying that but they're also not walking the walk and they're not doing it so I, I can instantly see the difference in people saying it and then being able to back it up so that's what I, I love about this and just coming you know from within the industry and, and building tech and being able to to sit down with somebody or talk to them and understand and build something at their level is huge and I think that's such a unique qualifier Chris what you're doing and and, and I can see what and here, here's what I want you to do Howard too and whether it's six months from now or nine or twelve whatever I want you to ask the Wailopo family of agents, hey, if you're in multiple referral networks, which one's your favorite one? Which one do you love the most? Because not what I want to hear come out of their mouth. I, 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 you, you go right into our Wailopo success community. You post a big, bold question. You know, <laughs> Ojo Labs, how are we doing? Yeah. Right? And then, yeah. or, you know, anytime, like, you know, which refer, you know, right? And uh, I, will, I, will, I will do that. Hey, um, I saw Jason posted a question about Canada. Correct, Jason. Um, J Jason and anyone else from Canada, uh, just send me an email and I'll send you the separate link for um, the Canadian application, which I think actually went live today. We had another question. So it's from Adam. Is there a way to automatically put the leads into their CRM? No, uh, I, you know, like, I wish there was as an agent, right? That's, that would be the ideal situation. Um, we have no, we don't have any features or functionality to do that at this point. Could that be in the future? There might be. The challenge is that, as we all know, there's so many different CRMs. And, yeah. So uh, what CRM are you guys on in San Diego? Uh, uh, Lion Dust. Okay. So um, how, specifically then, what's your process? Because you're getting these leads, you have Ylopo, you have Lion Desk. What's your process for doing uh, what yeah. Adam's asking about? It's just what you know, Gabe had mentioned it earlier, whether it's someone that calls us or we meet them or referral or whatever it is, <clears throat> we have an a, a admin on our team um, who puts everyone, all those into Lion Desk. So she puts them in, she tags them so we know what the source is, we know um, <clears throat> what campaigns we're gonna put them on and, and then connect them to our, our, you know, our well open marketing platform. Awesome, awesome. I think what's great too about having all those sharing resources because uh, Chris, you guys mentioned you guys have your group. Obviously, there's the Lopo's group. But as an agent, you don't have to figure it out on your own, man. Ask agents what's working for them and then adapt and, and, and just implement what works best for you. You don't have to figure this out on your own. What's great, there's so many agents doing this. Uh, learn from people who've already made mistakes so you don't have to. Yeah. Oh, we have a question. Do you get an email notification of the warm handoff with the person's info so that we can get it via Zapier email parse? Yeah. So at, right now, no. We are we are and we'll be experimenting with um, with some uh, with some digital handoffs where they're they're. Don't be surprised at some point in the not so distant future where some of the introductions are made uh, digitally versus a, a live a live connection. So Chris, so what, what is, uh, and could be a Gabe answer, but um, <laughs> but Gabe on the spot has been with us for 48 hours. Uh, but Charles is a good question. So how do you connect them to Ylopo from your CRM? This in this case with you, Lion Desk. Yeah, yeah, I'll let Gabe answer that. <laughs> I, I, I think I, answer that. I, I, we're gonna we're gonna get going in here. I mean, right now when you're when you're set up with Ylopo, I mean you, you can put in certain lead sources. So when you're entering that lead in, and this is really into any CRM, as soon as you select that lead source, it can automatically go over. So you're not having to manually then go add it uh, to stars. So that should work in Lion Desk, follow up, Firepoint, any of those, so that your agents are focused in one spot and it's getting synced in. 
And my advice on that, and, and I just actually came from another call where teams uh, don't necessarily send everything over to white level right away, like sometimes sign calls or, or inbound. I think it's a mistake. You want to get it in there so that remarketing and you really have like so that. Specifically, what were you doing? Like, like in the context of FirePoint, Gabe, yeah. let's say you had this source was coming into your team, into, Fire, in, into uh, FirePoint, right, which is what you were using. And then what would you specifically do to, at that point? Yeah, so, so as soon as it goes in, we'd already have it set up. So as soon as we pick that lead source, Ojo, as soon as we hit save, not only is it just in FirePoint, but it's automatically going uh, over into, uh, into Wailopo. And then really is like the next steps are gonna be based on the phone call, right? So if it's a warm handoff, that's maybe four or five months out, that's gonna be a different next step process than if it's like you know, we're pre-qualified and we're ready to go. So, I mean, I don't know there's a one size fits all is what the next, next steps are but it can be automated that it's a one step into your technology for the most part. So then it gets into Ilopo and then it's figuring out the proper follow-up based on, on their time frame and what's going on. And your team already has that figured out. This don't, I don't think you need to overcomplicate this, um, treat it as any other warm handoff. And if they're in the next 30 to 60 days, you already have your, your, your follow-up process for that. If they're six to nine months, just follow that. Just treat it as a warm handoff coming in, but just make sure you get it in the system to track it, especially where Chris and his team uh, are doing quality check, follow up to make sure it's happening, and it's it's there as an assistant. This isn't as a big brother watching over your back. It's to make sure you're you're in this together, uh, wanting the same outcome. Well, we're getting up close to the hour, um, Chris. I just want to let you know um, <clears throat> uh, you owe me one dollar, one dollar per sign up. <laughs> uh, you got we've got Jillian signed up, as I said before. John signed up. Uh, Ruby signed up. I already received a call from Nicole. Uh, my good friend Anthony signed up, and uh, who else? <clears throat> um, Jason is going to get going in Canada, and uh, Michael Carter is signing up right now. Eric just got his agreement. Uh, Trisha signing up her team right now, dude. I, I think I made just like ten dollars. This is awesome. <laughs> Well, and then Brittany, I, I, Brittany Howard's going to owe you a dollar too because you you've been playing matchmaker all day long. So you did a lender uh, request there too. I could buy one spicy tuna hand roll in LA, but I can get two of them probably in Boise, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, or, 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 do I want to get sushi in Boise? I'm going to pay you in some. We're, I'm going to pay you in St. Lucian dollars when we go down there. <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Go back to St. Lucia. Um, so so oh, Jillian just signed up from Florida. This is awesome, dude. This is great. So we are so awesome. seriously. Um, I'm in a goofy mood today, but seriously, you know, we're kind of in alpha testing mode, right? And we go to beta testing mode. If it becomes, <laughs> excuse me, a significant thing, then we think about more about the automations and and making it more fluid, right, for you guys. Yeah. But right now, we're going to get a lot of testers here, um, and uh, yeah, we're excited to to see. How this develops and yeah i agree with you chris like we revisit in six months so guys um any parting we always do the we do the banter we do the meat and now we do the party <laughs> shots so gabe you're not used to this this is what we always do before webinars we do the banter right and then we do the the meat on the bones and this is the parting thoughts the parting shots so who wants to go first i'll go so chris can wrap up i want to go on to end with chris so so my advice and again because i got another message Guys, don't over uh, about referral fees. Is that this is another lead source? This is costing you nothing to come in. This is a warm handoff partnership, and you're going to have additional deals coming off of this. Uh, and and you have a cost to the leads that you're working right now. I don't care if it's your time at an open house, whether you're doing PPC, any of that. There is a cost to leads and a cost to nurturing them. Uh, if you can get in and and you qualify for this get past it. You, you will, you will, you will receive so much more than what you ever pay on this. Awesome. Yeah. My final thoughts is just as a room refresh, we've been here with Chris Heller, chief real estate officer of Ojo Labs. We're talking about taking the great Ojo Labs leads, getting them into your CRM, <clears throat> getting them onto the Wilopo nurture system, dynamic remarketing, listing alerts, uh, Raya, AI, all of that. And reminder, this is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Uh, I wish we're not getting any money from Coca-Cola. <laughs> Uh, but my parting thoughts is in Chris, I trust. So let's see what happens. The proof is in the pudding. That's right. We, um, first of all, thank you guys for, for having me on. Um, definitely been the highlight of my day. <laughs> and to all the agents out there, 
And we look forward to working with you and partnering with you, uh, making sure that we uh, help as many consumers as possible get in, get into homes or out of homes, whatever they're looking to do. Uh, we're excited about it. We think 2021 is going to be a great year, and, and it's a, a year of, I think, going to be a lot of opportunities. So looking forward to, to experiencing it all with all of you. And Howard, we need to get together soon. I know. I am I'm, like everyone else. I'm over this whole lockdown thing. I cannot wait for our next Weather Bus Success Summit, which I'm predicting is going to be 2,000 people. We were 500 at the last one. And Chris, of course, you're going to be up on stage. So we're going to have a lot to uh, a lot to talk about. But thank you, thank you to everybody that that joined us today. Kiwi is going to is going to um, post the recording, and we're going to get this out far and wide to our community. So Chris, you should probably expect a lot more signups. Say hello to everyone at Ojo from uh, from us here at Wailopo and have a great remainder of your week. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. See you, guys. Thanks, Chris. Take care, guys.